this is going to be a hard video to make. I don't think I've ever done a tribute video on this channel before. But I thought this would be appropriate. Today, or yesterday I guess in fact, the creator of Spongebob Squarepants, Stephen Hillenberg, has died. He, year, months ago, he was diagnosed with ALS, and it's been going terrible for him, and it recently just kicked in, and he's gone. So... I'm going to make a tribute video to Spongebob and why I love Spongebob. Spongebob was one of my favorite shows growing up and I want to be an animator and it really helped me with my interest in becoming an animator. From making characters to wacky stories to comedy, it just, it really helped. Yeah, there were bad episodes, a, a lot of bad episodes, but that was around the time when Stephen wasn't working on the show, but I don't know how the show will continue without him. I hope it'll at least have some good episodes. I'm not really going to review the show because you all know what the show is about. A sponge named Spongebob lives in a pineapple under the sea with his neighbor Squidward and his neighbor Patrick. And he works at a restaurant called the Krusty Krab. You all know the plot of Spongebob. I still own both movies. I've had this DVD for the longest time. It's one of my favorite movies, one of my favorite animated movies, period. I remember seeing this movie in theaters when I was three years old. Still remember it to this day, and I still love to watch it for memories. I know I used to say that this one was better, but now I think the first one's better because, you know, it was part of my childhood. Yes, this movie does um, have more screen time with some of the characters, but... It's just, this one feels a little more iconic, but this is still a really fun movie. I still love this movie. It's such a shame that the creator has died. It's For Spongebob fans and animation fans in general, this has been a tough day. Stan Lee died, and now Steven Hillenburg died. This has been a pretty rough end of the year. Spongebob always holds a place in my heart. I always loved it. I still watch like a lot of the earlier episodes. The earlier episodes really crack me up. If I'm ever in the mood for a laugh, I would always put one on. I remember one year, um, I think it was like my 8th birthday or ninth birthday or something. My birthday was Spongebob themed. That's how much I loved Spongebob throughout all my years. And I've had some video games. I've had a lot of Spongebob things. This has just been really hard to talk about. This is the most shocking thing that's happened. I mean, I know he was diagnosed with ALS, but I was hoping, you know, he'll still get through it. And he even said he'll still work on the show, even with his ALS, but it just was too much, and he died. This is really hard to talk about. I, I really miss you, Stephen. You were a great man. And he also even worked on that show, Rocker's Modern Life, which also is a good show. But it wasn't, it was kind of like Spongebob, but it wasn't iconic and well-known as Spongebob. 
There's going to be another Spongebob movie in 2020 called It's a Wonderful Sponge. I'm a little concerned because the whole thing's going to be computer animated. Because 2D is too hard to work with, even though you can work on it on 11-minute episodes and you have no problem. But I'll still go see it because I want to honor Stephen. I'll never forget his death. By the time the third movie comes out, I'll still see it. I'll see it to support him. Just, this has real been really hard to say. It's been. I've not really been in the mood late, lately today, cause you know. He was one of my icons. He created one of. One of the most beloved characters in modern animation. And he made not just Spongebob, but some other really iconic and hilarious characters. Patrick, Squidward, Mr. Krabs, Plankton, Sandy, Larry the Lobster, Pearl, Mrs. Puff, Karen. I, I still know all the characters because they're really iconic and you know them. So, um, it was really unpleasant to hear this, and rest in peace, Stephen. Well, at least I'm happy you're in a better place in heaven. Hope they'll treat you good there, and you'll still, we'll still remember you, and will always be there for you and to support your show even after your death. Aside from the bad episodes, but you weren't really working on them. You were just a consultant or whatever, but the ones you made, the great ones, the hilarious ones you gave us, it means a lot. And I really miss you, Steve, and I'm, this has been a hard thing to say, so. If you guys got any words to say, leave them down below. Because I bet you all feel really um, sad about this as much as I do. At least if you're a SpongeBob fan like I am, so. That's what I gotta say, and don't worry, the next. Hopefully the next video will be happier, so see ya.